The Ward's Auto editor, editorial staff believes greatness must cross every vehicle sector. No matter how inexpensive, customers willing to plunk down their hard-earned cash deserve a comfortable, connected, attractive interior, not just a place to sit while they're driving. This year, Ward's Auto editors evaluated 46 vehicles in February and March before choosing the 10 winners. To be eligible, a vehicle had to be all new or have an interior that has been significantly redesigned. Every year's test cycle is different based on which vehicle segment has the most new products. This year, we had lots of luxury vehicles and CUVs. In picking the winners, the editors rank every vehicle they drive. Each score sheet has a possible 100 points. And editors grade the vehicles based on these criteria. Material selection, ergonomics, driver information in the HMI, safety, value, touch points, comfort, fit and finish, aesthetics and design harmony. Our in-house videographer, Cherie Savage, captured editorial comments during their evaluations. Let's take a look. Welcome to the 2013 Ward's 10 Best Interiors competition. Fit and finish is, of course, a big thing uh, as we evaluate the interiors. And here it's nice and clean, and up here it pulls away a little bit. You can see it's kind of hard not to notice this in terms of a design element. And it's not terribly smooth. Nice, seamless integration here with the plastic and the cloth headliner. Lighting's terrific. You can't you can't see it here, but it's it's terrific. So is it under, is it yeah, and it's like under here, so it's almost like sort of like there's, there's LEDs underneath here, and then the light just kind of glows out from a crevice in there. Here on the shifter, there's an upside down triangle that kind of resembles the, the Acura symbol. One thing we really love about the Forte is that you're getting a lot of features for the money, and also it's got great style. Really a nice package for the money. One of the things we always look for is to see if there's a center headrest in the back seat. Decent space here in the back seat. Of course, right now I, I have the seat in front of me that's pushed forward a bit, so I've got all of this knee room. It's definitely tight back here. If you really want to put these seats flat, you're going to have to be able to move these seats forward. Oh, we already noticed a problem here. You've got to pull the seat up to get the headrest all the way off. My phone is also linked in here already. And one thing that I love that Honda does is that they put all their music categories in the ones. Call Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy. Hey Tom, this is James. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Not bad. Just calling to see if you picked up my laundry. Um, you know, I forgot. I can get it uh, on my way home. That's all right. We've got many more test drive videos like these online at wardsauto.com and embedded in the pages of uh, this month's Wards Auto World Digital Magazine as well.